Once again, it's time for the Super Adventure Box Festival. I'm going to say right now, if you don't like jumping puzzles, stop watching the video. Because what I'm about to cover is more or less exactly the same thing. Uh, and you can tell the Super Adventure Box is live because they've actually modified the loading picture for I'd assume to include the Super Adventure Box right there. Now ordinarily, uh, first character in that I have is my, my best character. My first character would be Sanja's Lore, my, uh, well nowadays she's a soul beast. But I established a Super Adventure Box with Talania here my uh, dead eye so I'm gonna be using her in this video because she has uh, she is uh, she has all the upgrades and whatnot for super adventure box this is the super adventure box now you ordinarily you see this all the time it's this big thing here whatever and you will see where is he there's he Challenge yourself right. to learn. You see this ugly mofo right here you'll see him hanging around and you'll just talk to him and whatever so um that's a well and good uh as of 2018 though let's see where are you? Uh, he's added a pair of i can't click on it i'm sorry there's a merchant there there's another merchant right down there it's a bunch box trader and weaponsmith and you could purchase the weapons themselves no just the skins oh hmm by the way uh, super pistol skin. That's what I have on Talania, matter of fact. Until next time. Um, let's see. How do I do this? I mentioned it previously. There's one in the offhand. Great walking. You'll notice at her hips. She's got a pair of pistols. They, they remind me of the, uh, was it the original Nintendo, the original NES? The thing that they, the, the, the pistol or whatever they used for like duck hunt and stuff? That's what they remind me of. To make a very appropriate pew pew sound. Uh, which is all well and good, whatever. But here's the awesome part: when you hit, when you wield dual pistols, uh, I think you have to have the. In order to make these sounds, you have to have the skin attached to them. Let's see, what, what's the actual weapon? The actual weapon is a Venom Striker. Forgive me, I didn't know better at the time. It weighs power, precision, ferocity. Uh, so the Venom Striker is what these ordinarily are. So what happens when you have to have both pistols, or you have to have both super super pistol skins, or whatever it is, in order to do this? Yeah, that's why you get the super adventure pistols because you can literally daca pew sounds. That's why you get it. That's that's and that's why she has them. Uh, Talania, the, the way she operates, I, don't, I can't remember if I said this in one of my previous videos or not, but Talania, sh her weapons kind of reflect... Um, I'm going to ignore that. Uh, her weapons reflect uh, her journeys. So I'm still going to ignore that. Anyways, uh, so, you know, she's the super adventure box character, so much so that she even has the... She has the super adventure glider because why not and it's hilarious and I also equipped her with the infinite continue coin which came with the glider if I remember correctly and that was one year ago uh, I don't know if they still sell this I don't know it didn't say in the update if it did or not but um, yes so Talania is she's not 100% a super adventure box but she's something close to it When you go to the Super Adventure Box, your 1 through 0, 
your one through zeros and all the boons and anything else that you have are going to disappear. Everybody is on equal footing. It doesn't matter which class you're using. It doesn't matter which uh, uh, armor class you're using. Either it could be it could be light, medium, or heavy armor. It doesn't matter. Everybody is put on the same level. So this is just saying, you know, purchase Denola. The types of buffs will be lost upon entering the box. Understandable. That actually says loading in the Tyrion script, and this says Super Adventure Box. It's a simple substitution script, by the way, but everybody uses it in Tyrion. This is the lobby for the Super Adventure Box. And again, here's your last chance. If you don't like jumping puzzles, or if you think they're, they're they don't flow, then uh, they don't flow with the style of an MMO, then A, fuck you, and B, uh, get a life, and C, lest you forget, Super Mario Brothers, and Sonic, and all kinds of things like that. Who are you? I have no idea who you are. Those are all what are known as platformer games. And if ArenaNet pop culture icons that they are, by the way, no gliding, no mounts. If ArenaNet decides to put a platforming game into Guild Wars 2, then, you know, shut up. That's their choice. If you don't like it, you're free to ignore it. But you know what? Once a year... I mean, look at the zaniness of this. You've got Tetris blocks flying through the air. As I understand it, when ArenaNet tried to do the Super Adventure Box years ago, they actually went to uh, Nintendo and Sega. They and and they went in legalese. They went to them and they said, "Hey, can we can we do this thing and not draw the ire of anybody?" And they said, "Yeah, sure." You know, they had to do exactly the same thing, by the way, when they put those those goddamn mushrooms all over uh, Heart of Thorns. They went to Nintendo and said, hey, you know those Goombas? Can we borrow those, but not call them Goombas and not put eyes and teeth on them? Can we do that? And Nintendo said, sure. I don't see why not. So it's not like this isn't without precedence. Actually, the SAB came first. And before I forget... There's a fountain. Of course, it wouldn't be a Guild Wars 2 game if it didn't come with its own currency. In this case, baubles. Which, when you get, is it 100 or 250 baubles, you get bobble bubbles. No, it's not easy to say. It's a compressed bobble. A bubble is a compressed bobble from Super Adventure Box. Trade these with Moto and Radasu. So I threw in a, a bobble for uh, for good luck. There's Moto himself. Frogs. The only thing that doesn't change in Super Adventure Box is the basic controls dodging. Um, these are the cast of characters we're going to be coming across as we move through the Super Adventure Box. The only things that don't change are the... Yes, those are ninjas. And the dog bee. I'm sorry, the bee dog. My bad. Uh, the only things that don't change are your physical appearance, any miniatures that you have right there. There's the pup. And the basic movement controls. It's still WASD, it's still spacebar, it's still double tap to evade or whatever you want. And there's still... Um, and then your attack commands are still 1 through 5 and 6 through 0. So how you control in here is exactly the same. The only difference is the appearance of the world and how it functions. So there's not too much difference here. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's this? This is new. This is new. This is new. Where's the race? Where's the race? Oh, there it is. Since mounts were introduced with Path of Fire in September 2017, uh, they've been sneaking races. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a marker. And I'm assuming you are not cute. What? Okay. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be a foot race. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a foot race. Alright. So, uh, no mounts in the mount race. I guess it's not a mount race. Whatever. That's okay, because when, uh... Oh, what was it? The Lunar New Year Festival came on. There was both a mount race and a, and a, a walking... Er, and a running race. So it makes sense that... There are no mounts in 64-bit... Or, er, 16-bit uh, games. Unless you count Yoshi from Super Mario Brothers. I'm sorry, Super Mario World. My bad. So... I wonder if they'll give us a Yoshi or a, a mushroom to climb on, on top of. I have no idea. Okay, let's see what happens. Even the jumping sound effect has changed, in case you haven't noticed. Okay. Uh, did they change the terrain? I don't know. I don't know the lobby that well. Okay, we go down. Oh, by the way, no fall damage. No fall damage because... Oh, shit. No fall damage because... Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna suck. Um, I've never done this before. I don't know what to do. Also, no, uh, no mini-map. I'll show you what happens when you try and blow up the, the map to full-size. Oops, wrong way. Following the rest of the crowd at this point. a few more times. Oh, don't make me go down here, please. Okay, okay we're gonna do this. I was going to save this for later, but I guess they're gonna insist on... Now we can just do it later. Oh, that was close. That was close. You kinda have to practice doing this. Honestly, I'd have been surprised if they hadn't pulled the race down here. Ah, get up there. How long does this race go? I'm not gonna grab that till I get this. 
I see bee dogs. Nope, this way. I do. This is different from gliding. I can't just point in the direction I want to go either. You have to control up and down with one and two. Up, 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 up. Now down. Ah, down. Ordinarily, you can't go this. Uh, ordinarily, you can't get out to these clouds. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, too high. I don't think you've been transformed previously in the Super Adventure box. I don't. I don't think so. It's still WASD to, uh, ooh, go down. It's still WASD to go forward and backward, but, uh, uh, oh, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, okay. I say the box has only been going for an hour, so. Oops, wrong button. Right now it's just hold down W, so... This is hard to control. Up, 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 up. Thank you. Oh, not that up. It's hard to tell if I actually hit the things or not. as I made it. In case you're wondering what this thing is, this is a bee dog. My mail carrier is a, bail, uh, uh, a bee dog, by the way. So I guess this is how they justify... Uh, Can we go? Either mine broke, or uh, you always stay as a bee dog until you transform, which is a zero key, by the way. 
Uh oh. Oh, I went too far. Okay. So they still don't let you drop down. Darn. I was hoping to look at the bottom side of the island. Er, <clears throat> lobby. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> the Super Adventure Box Lobby. Okay, I just saw something in the wiki, and I need to verify this because my mind has just been falling. Let's see. Okay, Moto, what do you got? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fixed box. All right. Where are you? Where are you? <gasps> there it is. I'll be damned. Activates a new gathering node in your home instance. Yes! Yes! I've been asking for a, a, a home node that gives you baubles for three years now. Oh, finally! Finally! Yes! <sighs> Damn it. Alright, so I've got a decision to make. I can either go for the bobble gathering. I mean, I know this is totally... Um, I can either go for the bobble gathering system, which I absolutely do want. Yes, absolutely. Or I can go for the World 2 Super Boom Box. I accidentally purchased the World 1 version, which I totally didn't want to purchase. And I kind of dumb on that. So I've been regretting it for an entire year now. And I need to get that second Boom Box. But, oh, this this may supplant it. Supplant it. This, this may be... Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, gathering system at 31. Okay, so I need another 250. Oh... Oh, 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 oh. You know what? It might be worth it to go for the bobble gathering system because that resets itself every single day and I can rebuild it over the course of the next year. Um, by the way, uh, I read in the wiki something along the lines of if you if you purchase a, bo purchase a bobble gathering system, they need to rename that. That doesn't sound good. Um, if you purchase this... Um, it will take just over one year to recoup the loss of baubles that it takes to actually pay for it. Just, just, uh, I think it's a little less than a year. A little less than 360 days of gathering to recoup this 32, 32 bubble baubles. Bobble bubbles. Uh, I would say that's worth it. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna trigger that. And considering the, the SAB is going right now, I should be able to remake this easily enough. I say easily enough. Uh, yeah, listen to me. Oh, they they, they gave us a, a a node in the home instance. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've needed that. I've needed that. <laughs> okay. We need to do this. I need this. Pattern perception promotes puzzle performance. Activates a new gathering node. Ideas are dangerous. I guess I this do. idea is at least a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Hashtag worth. But I want to go check out my new stack position. I cannot. I'm not waiting for this. <gasps> I don't care if I'm using unlimited use tools or not. I want to see this thing. I need this in my life. I've needed this for three years. There it is. It's the first thing you see. What does it give you? What does it look like? It's just a thing. Let's see what it does. Oh, you mine them. Let's see, 8 times 3 is 16? No. 8, 2 is 16, 8, 3 is 24. 24 per day. Not bad. 24 per day. In about 360 days, you should... Not 365, but in about 360 days, uh, you should recoup your losses on this. Oh, I feel so good about that. 
<laughs> See you, you're the fat one, right? Oh, okay. Oh, I feel so glad about that. Oh, thank you, Arena. Now we we definitely needed that. We definitely. 